Hello, collective. This is for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the collective with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so collective, this is what I was getting and I shuffled off camera. Some of y'all need to listen to your intuition. I'm hearing like work, you know, life, work life or work home or work and personal life balance. And you have some compromise there, some balance, right? Because you already did it enough. You have abundance or it's coming to you. Something about reward, payment, big as blessing. Because um, the universe is like, you're ready. You know, um, you've gone through the fire. It's just what I heard. Let's talk about it. Now, this ain't going to be for some of y'all. Because some of y'all ain't done what you need to do. and Or you're still doing it. And that's okay. Um, ask the universe, where am I? Am I, you know, in a place where, you know, um, I can kind of slow down. I can have some compromise. Some of you are working a little bit too much. And you're not listening to your intuition in terms of slow down, take a break. And you're trying to manifest out of fear, fear of lack, you know, fear of falling into lack or not having enough or um, not being able to. Let's see what. Yeah. Uh, OK, so five of cups. This could even be fearing that something's going to go backwards, um, that you're going to be in a low place or that there might be a job loss or customer based loss or this could even be like fear from past um, missed opportunity or mistake with maybe money or a relationship wow can't make it up you have abundance here and then here's the ten of pentacles but the universe is saying look whoa you got abundance here it could come around the fall season virgo season compromise balance can't make it up wow this is so wow wow compromise balance take your time do enough but don't do so much some of you just have no type of um line drawn in the sand about work and life it's doing so much and it's out of fear health is coming up also you want to be cautious of, you know, fall, you know, failing or um, falling ill with the five of cups also. Can't make it up. Three of pentacles. It all came out at the same time. Work. Doing some high quality work. You're putting it out there. You're cranking it out. But there's no need for you to be trying to manifest abundance when you already have it. Um, you're ready. Wow. I, I picked this card up and then look what was under that. Let go. You need to let go. Some of you are wound up in regards to thinking that abundance is fleeting. Or it's going to get away from you. It's going to leave you. You need to be assertive. Another word for assertive is confident. Be confident in where you are. You're ready for whatever this is. A new spiritual journey, a new job. You're ready to take it easy, to let go, to loosen the reins on something because abundance is here with the Ten of Pentacles. Long term goal fulfillment, the transference of wealth. So something is being transferred to you. This could even be like a literal transfer to your bank account. This is also like the transference of wealth. So that means it was in something or somebody else's hands. This is kind of like the Ten of Excuse me, the Wheel of Fortune, which the Wheel of Fortune is a 10 card. This is a 10 card. So it's like your fortune has changed by something that you've done consistently. Your wealth will not be, it will not leave you. You're not squandering it by taking a break, taking it easy. Maybe even listening to your intuition about maybe something big coming in for you. You can't rest 
in the mistakes of your past because this is about regret resentment remorse re mistakes of the past regretting not taking an opportunity not saying something not moving not acting um maybe emotional spending also what else do you want to tell the collective here it's like somebody's here you've done the work like you've done some work harvest is here it's coming you don't have to work yourself in the ground anymore wow it flipped out you saw it flipped out six of wands you have won the battle. Maybe not the war, but definitely the battle. You know, the war is life, right? You, you ain't dead yet, so you just won the battle. You got another one coming up, but and I'm pretty sure you'll win that one. Um, the Six of Wands here just says that um, security, secure. You bet on yourself. Uh, strutting your stuff. Walking off, strutting your stuff. High esteem of yourself right now due to some accomplishment. The campaign trail, maybe you are campaigning for something or you will be. People are seeing you uh, with high esteem of yourself, public recognition for something that you chose to do systemically. You had a system going and you just kept doing it. Some of you need to check out of the system and, you know, kind of let go, you know, take a break, let go now. You don't need to work so hard. The six of wands, you know, kind of like take a minute to process, digest, analyze your success. This is success in business, health in business also. Business can be your job or you have like, you know, your own business, right? This may even be by way of your spirit guides. Everybody ain't happy for you, but that's okay because, you know, your success has been um, awarded to you, not by, by man, but by spirit, by doing what you needed to do. Wow, the world. Some of you have started a new business or you will. You're coming into, you're ready. Coming into um, a new chapter, closing a book, maybe even writing a new book. Again, winning the battle. Maybe not the war, but now it's time to go on to a new battle. New levels, new devils is what I'm hearing. Some of you are about to really have some high achievement. Graduation. There's a laurel wreath here. So it talks about victory. Victory. Success. Business. Having learned the lesson of all the other major arcana. And now it's time to go on, move on, ascend. You know, listen to the calling or hear the calling, you know, and, and move forward. Wow. Opportunity is coming in for you. I just moved that card and then opportunity was there. So opportunity for you to close door completely, utterly. This is, of course, starting new business, marriage, family, baby, whatever. This is a complete change. The world here we've got the fixed signs so you're getting some gratification or you're getting some type of victory because of something that you kept at or you kept doing you maintained so some of you maintained a consistent um, basis of work or you consistent um, steady work you consistently did something over and over yeah with the strength card here you stay strong you gain emotional enlightenment, maturity, intellect. So emotional intellect is when you know what emotion to, to draw from. You know, where, you know how to tame your emotions too. There's not emotional outbursts. You know how to hold back, govern yourself accordingly. You've come to some, I'm hearing transfiguration, transformation of yourself, angelic quality. You used to be, maybe you used to be a live wire, especially with this uh, strength card coming up. You used to, somebody pushed your button, triggered you, you went off, okay? No questions asked, off, just off. And um, you learned that, you know, that's, that's not um, in accordance with being a um, high vibrational individual, right? It's not, uh, in, in, you know, in accordance with, um, enlightenment because this angel knows how to temper 
their emotions. That's why they have um, temperance or um, a higher level of consciousness, the emotions and the earth. This, you come to a place of knowing how to, um, how to act in the face of adversity, because this reduces to a five. In the face of change, transition, you don't act like chicken little, the sky is falling and you're running all around. This is, okay, things are changing. My money may have changed. My uh, situation changed. My relationship changed with people, family, romantic, whatever. I'm still going to maintain my composure. You know, I'm still going to maintain my dignity, dignity here. I'm going to attain that roar, that roaring. I can never say this word. Uh, a lion roars. So roaring beast. You can, you tamed it, right? We all have it within us and that's feminine energy. But sometimes you have to draw on that masculine energy and go into your intellect. That's why this is emotional intellect. So emotion and the intellect is, is balanced. Therefore, you have a higher consciousness or higher understanding, enlightenment, ascension. She's constantly balancing out her emotions and you're doing it because the eights talk about over and over and over. So, you know, people can trigger you on the job and your family, and your relationship. It's not about what happens to you. It's about how you respond to it. Because a tree can fall on my car right now. I have more than one car. But... Okay, so the tree falls on the car that I like, that I like to drive. Do I blow up? Do I act frantic? Do I call the insurance company in a rage? Do I call the homeowners uh, association? You know, just like a roaring, like a roaring lion. Do I do that? The, a roaring, like a fucking maniac. Okay, do I act like that? No. I just handle it, emotional intellect. Hi, a tree just fell on my car. Um, how are we going to handle this? What, what, are, what are my next steps? What, are, what should I be doing? The, um, you know, the ex triggers you, says something that is completely disrespectful, uh, disregarding your feelings. You know, do you in turn give them the same thing back? Or do you just not, act? I wouldn't respond. No response is a response. And you can't argue with yourself unless you are mentally ill. Some of us are. One second, guys, let me look at this text message. Um, yeah, so some of you are learning how to respond. Oh, she's already there. No, hang, hang on. Hello? No, it's in the freezer. One second, guys. I'm so sorry. Oh, when you send your child to the store, this is what happens. All right. Um. Yeah. So some of you are. So some of you are at a place of enlightenment, okay? Yeah, this, because the Three of Pentacles talks about having um, the energy of the masculine, the feminine, and then divinity, divinity, uh, angel, angelic presence, 
knowing how to balance out masculine and feminine energy. That's what life is really about, you know, because trial, trial, tribulation is going to happen to us all for it rains on the just and the unjust. But how do you handle it? Some of you are live wires. Some of you are ready. You live by the saying, I wish a would. I wish somebody would. You stay ready. Some of you are ready, but not in a way that you need to be. Let's see what else is going on here. What do we have go coming for the collective in the near future? Opportunity. When it comes knocking, it's going to come fast. This is the budding entrepreneur. So maybe you'll get some opportunity in terms of a contract or a big contract or um, um, lots of uh, consumers, customers, uh, people who want your service. Wow, can't make it up. Maybe even the change of a job here, career, opportunity, ace of pentacles, seven of cups. I heard having it your way. There might even be somebody trying to argue with you or take you back to a place of conflict, drama. Yup, nine of wands. Somebody stalking your energy, wanting you to go backwards. They don't like this new ascended, high vibrational zen. Um, nothing can penetrate my a positive energy type of person. They don't like this new you. And they want you to go back to argument, fight, drama. Yeah, they want to revive, relive. They're trying to get you to go backwards quickly. But the universe is wanting you to listen to the call and go forward because you're ready to ascend. Okay? You may have to walk away from friends, family members, whomever, co-workers that just don't serve you. They don't serve the new you. This is you thinking about, you know, should you go back into that group or should you hang out with that person or should you go back into that love affair? This is somebody who's offering, you know, I'm here for now. I'll be gone very soon. This is someone from your past or someone you have a significant past with. This could be coming around maybe Sagittarius time. So it's that late November, December. It's like the, the year will be ending and here here creeps in that devil type energy. And um, this person is trying to see if they can draw you back in. The wounded warrior. Um, hang on one second again, guys. You know. All right, so yeah, um, it says don't give up on this path of enlightenment and moving forward. Fight for what you've established within yourself because there's some big blessing here, big opportunity for you to really ascend, maybe even help others, bring others into um, higher vibration. Other people could be looking at you also as a, a model of, you know, what they want to be like or what they aspire to be like. Every day may be a struggle or somebody feels that way or um, it says don't give up, you're ready. Somebody's had some deep transformative change within them, themselves, um, dealt with the past. So somebody went to the past, dealt with it, and then buried it again. Or this is what you're being asked to do. Um, don't, don't take it with you. Because they can't get you to the world energy if you, if you don't do this. If you don't 
somebody tries to run from the past. You can't do that. You got to deal with it. Because it's going to keep resurfacing. You see these people keep, keep trying to come back and pull you into drama, bullshit. Somebody sees you as abundant. Understanding your worth. Okay? Understanding what you bring to any relationship. Understanding that you're a good catch. Whether it's friendship or romantic. You just bring, you know, a level of um, solidarity. That's what I heard. Abundance to situations. And you, you don't mince words and you rightfully decide. And you have a lot of wisdom with you because you've been through a lot. But you didn't let this been through a lot shape you or shape your mentality to the point where you're a bitch or you're cold or you're callous or you don't know how to love or no you're using it once again your communication skills it may even garner you some type of money so what happened to you it pushed you maybe into you and asking the questions about you self-reflection severing ties it also could have pushed you into spirituality and then that was a rabbit hole and then you went into spirituality and then you learned about this and you learned about that and now you maybe you're helping others yeah you're actively doing something here it says you can let the guard down six of swords um peace this could even be you moving away from a toxic work environment toxic people maybe at the top of the year the new year 2023 this is um moving maybe even like a physical move you and a child children mm, you're going from choppy waters you're going from not knowing you're going from maybe mental manip mental manipulation drama pettiness childish behavior and someone you know bad blood between you and somebody or you and somebody's or you're reconciling you're reconciling that you need to leave that you you're making sense of leaving because something is a headache some love affair some friend group something is a headache you know not necessarily a heartache but a headache to deal with it keeps you in your mind that's what the five of swords is So you moved away from that. What do we have in the near future? This looks really good. You're going to know your worth. You may even have different modes of income. You may start something new. This is new home, buying luxury items. Um, she looks like royalty. She dresses well. Um, she's, you know, she can articulate. She gives others the chance to speak, give their opinion. But she know that, you know, opinions aren't facts. You know, but she will give you an opportunity to speak. Um, this is the single mom. Maybe you are taking care of your children uh, or child. Um, you're growing something. Okay. You could even be starting a garden or you could be into horticulture or something of that nature. Or something about growth and you know, hands on with it. But whatever it is, it, it offers you a level of peace, serenity. It just makes sense of moving on. You could even be moving on in secrecy, silence. Yeah, silent. Don't say nothing. In the near future, what is uh, the collective? Okay, the strength card coming back out. Other people's money, large sum of money, taxes, uh, inheritance, alim alimony, divorce, or something like that. Yeah, five of pentacles. The king of wands so you could be leaving something you took time to focus on yourself focus on what you wanted to bring into yourself you just really decided you listen to somebody's words and you decided that this isn't for you they aren't for you this person will be kind of like silently desiring you to come back. You're in their heart's desire. Um, this person could even be meditating on your energy, um, trying to manifest you back by actively doing something with the wand. I don't know. Um, we've got the eight here. 
eighth house talks about sex and intimacy. So somebody could be doing something, trying to bring your energy back because they're feeling a void without you. They feel the void. They feel the emptiness, the darkness. Nothing else can satisfy. They could go in this church. They could go and take one of those pentacles, but nothing is satisfying. So they have lack of confidence. Some of you need to, so you got dreams of entrepreneurship, grandeur, but you need to do something each and every day so that you can get to that because there's lack and there's lack of maybe confidence in, in self-employment. You started something, but you need to keep at it for some of you. There's going to be somebody who wants to start the love back up with you and start it up. Just, you know, they want you to forgive them. They might want to see you every day until they don't want to. This is, what is this? Is this temporary? I think it is. Yeah, this is a maybe even a karmic relationship. One that's, you know, kind of based on a lot of physicality, doing stuff. You know, yeah. The person wants to do stuff with you. She's um, about sex, Queen of Wands. Um, again, this person could be trying to manifest you, attract you back to them. So that can be um, some type of reunion, reconciliation, Ace of Cups, a new start. Somebody misses the friendship also. It, not even just the sex, but the friendship, the camaraderie is what I'm hearing. Somebody misses, because there's like love, love. Um, and friendship here which could equal marriage you could have been married to this person you could be married this also is somebody who you thought you would marry they thought they could marry you but this person doesn't they lack that they don't they can't give you that they can give you several new starts okay and then what else do we have here yeah three of wands they might string you along for a very long time yeah the justice card with the star card okay um so this is like apology w wanting you to come back again energy work manifestation magic whatever you want to call it um because they feel like they need to make amends with you apologize to you um clear their karma this is karmic debt being repaid need to repay something with you you also may have a healing property about yourself. Therefore, they want you to come back again around the first of the year, maybe around Aquarius season. You may reject this person or it says that um, this person rejected you because they couldn't see the blessing, the gift that you were. They were still focused on the three of cups, socializing, partying, other people might have even been listening to friends or siblings or anybody else that was telling them something that was adverse to this is your person or maybe you should take this serious so they were listening to something else they were communicating something else with someone else this person also could have been taking your energy and manifesting somewhere else you know like taking your good nature taking your good ideas taking what i know you could put them on to something and then they go and show somebody else versus build with you this person could also come back have sex with you and then leave again start the whole ignoring process rejecting rejecting the blessing especially if this is somebody from the past yep maybe because they still have somebody this is somebody who um stuck steady This is like steady opposition. This is somebody who's stuck in between, you know. They don't want to move forward or make the decision. 
They thought the grass was greener on the other side. It is not. I'm hearing that they want you in another option. You may have this somebody like this coming back. They can't. It's not fun being with that other person unless you're in their life too. Okay. And it's not going to be fun for them to just be with you and then let the other person go. Therefore, you got somebody, you know, playing both sides, two of wands. Somebody likes the tried and true, the stable person and the, the wild, fun, adventurous, do whatever, go wherever, let's do it. Let's get it going type of energy. If somebody is stuck or wanting to stay in that energy, they know that's what they want. This is fear that they'll make the wrong decision too. So why make a decision if I'm fearing, yep, fearing that they're going to get karma or they're going to get choose the karmic road or they're going to choose the wrong person and then they're going to be stuck to them. This is somebody who fears commitment. And they're okay. They know that they want to be in between. They know that they want to have more than one option. I don't have to be committed to either. I can go back in between, you know? So that's what that's the type of energy that you're dealing with. Yeah, it could be an older gentleman, well established, maybe has already been married before, is married. You might be a third party. They might have this could be your husband. He has a third party. He likes that, you know, you're at the house and you do what you do and he likes to go over here sometimes too. And um, you know, that's the low vibration that this person is in fear of commit committing but this person wants these two parties to commit to them though this is duality so it means I'll do two different things I, I won't decide I won't make a decision you know for it says choose this day this person won't not make a decision so this person does quote unquote, the right thing one day, the wrong thing the next. Duality, won't decide, flip flop. For you're either hot or cold or, you know, God's gonna spew you out of his mouth. And this person doesn't wanna make a decision of hot or cold. It's no, I wanna be hot sometimes and then I wanna be cold sometimes. That's the type of energy that you're dealing with. Let's see what signs, maybe. What signs they're dealing with. You would give them signs. Or I don't know. Let's see what comes out from this deck. What do we have for the collective? Some of you are just ready to leave this behind. Yeah, some of two minds. Gemini. Somebody is of two minds. A uh, social butterfly. They're very flexible, very versatile, restless, okay? Maybe even street smart. You know, mobile, yeah, fidgety. Just somebody just can't sit still. You know, their energy is, yeah, of, of, like the two of wands. I don't want to make a decision. Could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be a Gemini. This could be your energy. I don't know. Um, fifth house. Yeah, this is somebody who likes love affairs. You know, it's fun to be in those. It's fun to have casual love affairs. It's fun to have casual sex. It's fun. I don't want to make any real commitment. Let's see. Eighth house. Yep. Intimacy. I don't want any intimacy. I don't want to make any investments outside of, I don't want to have any contracts outside of sex and, you know, opportunity for sex. Um, the underworld. This is somebody who is definitely in that dark energy, needing to ascend, needing to go higher. They like to keep things a mystery. They could be there could be an obsession or a sexual addiction. Lots of secrets here. Somebody could make money in like a sexual capacity. Only fans doing something online, being an exotic dancer, being around exotic dancers. Somebody is just low, vib low vibration altogether. Um, and this is what they're choosing to be. in. they know exactly what they're doing. Mars, yeah, they like to take action, desire, impulse. Um, so 
you can think that things are going good in the relationship and then you'll see this person go in a complete different direction and you're like what the fuck just happened i thought we were on the same page and um you know they'll be the other way this is action this is fire this is heat this is um you know competition impulse like this is sex drive and it could be that even somebody you know could be um again have a sexual addiction could be you could be someone else pisces the mystic somebody's staying hopeful prayerful about this connection but also it could be on its last leg in terms of emotions somebody is just tired you know emotionally somebody imagines better a healing type of energy coming over the relationship but um i don't know if it will escapism and maybe this is what this person likes to engage in also ascend it so the outlook world view mission statement um likeness approach impact point of view outer self body image aura oh okay so this could even be that this person is attracted to you maybe a little bit obsessed with you because you're ready you're ascended and we know that the dark is attracted to the light this person could even feel like you're going to be their saving grace they don't have to change anything about themselves but they just want to be attached to you you know you're good i'm bad you know let me let me attach to your energy you know i can be good through you yep sees the potential in semi-sextile allow allowing cycles grows realizes so some of you come into a place of realizing that you know nothing is going to grow here you've been allowing this you've been resting and seeing the potential you know this person has potential to be better potential to this potential to that especially with pisces here very dreamy we're very wishful wishful thinking you are allowing for this person to be who they were going to be and um hoping with the pisces mystic energy maybe even praying for change maybe even doing some energy work with the virgo praying for that this person would change um things would end and it would turn into something different something better yeah you were doing something ritualistically you know trying to be efficient be methodical you were the healthy one you know in this connection but now maybe you come into a place of realizing yeah okay um can we get some future energy oh let's say no not here all right Some of you still holding on to hope that this person is going to change. Uh, Knight of Cups. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Hoping that this person will have some deep for transformative change. Especially if, you if a woman is holding out for a man. Three of Wands waiting for this person to come back. Two of Wands waiting for them to make the decision of you. Eight of Wands waiting for you guys to you know, come back together. This is the law of attraction. This is obsession. This is putting something out there, waiting for the opportunity to fall in love, finding somebody to fall in love with. Also, some of you could be doing a lot of work to find someone to fall in love, but you, you might need to heal. The Knight of Cups is not the best card you want to get in terms of long term relationship because this person can be unrealistic in love. You know, they like the newness of love the maintenance or maintaining a relationship no because you got a new start here and then an ending so it's like somebody didn't know how to maintain and we just talked about that with the knight of cups so in the in the near future especially some of you who are doing a lot of energy to bring in somebody new or this person from the past um you need to heal you need to let something end here you need to learn some lesson karma the karma that we create in the Ten of Wands here. So you thought somebody was going to change or shape shift. They weren't. 
be intentional in everything that you do, um, in every relationship that you engage in, whatever you want. Stand true and firm to it in the beginning. So when it does end, when it does break down, you won't be yelling, karma, 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 and this person is karmic and toxic. When from the beginning you knew that, you know, they didn't want the same thing that you wanted. Or you never made um, your intentions known, declaration of your intentions. You never had a conversation or you never stood on anything. You just hoped and wished that it would turn into something. And then that's when you get the Ten of Wands. Yeah. The magician at the bottom of the deck. With the ace of swords and the ace of wands. This could even be somebody trying to come back to you. Again, again someone trying to come back. This could be someone trying to come back to maybe a feminine energy. We got masculine, then we got feminine. Um, yeah, we got somebody trying to resurface, but it looks like how they want to resurface is. Um, tell me how this person wants to resurface. Okay, so they want to recover the relationship, recovery, and have a peaceful resolution. So they want to come to a resolve, um, re-solve something. So they want to go over it, redo this, solve the issue. They want you to say yes, definite yes here. The universe is saying it's up to you. If you await. You would have um, big, happy changes in the perfect timing or come in perfect timing. Let's clarify um, the yes answer. What is the yes answer? Why, why a definite yes here? Resolution. Seven of Swords. Yeah, this person is sneaky, still holding back. They're going to be running from one situation to the next. They're going to keep something from you. They really, they'll act like they want to have a relationship, but they're really the lone wolf. They really want to go it alone, go through life alone. You know, they want to have relation, yeah, but they don't want to be in a serious commitment. They're going to leave you holding the bag, leave you, hold, you know, bag of tears. Wow, can't make it up. Nine of swords flipped over. They don't leave you all up in your head. Wow. With the moon card in your emotions while they're walking off strutting them strutting their stuff going on to the next somebody may even want to come back and just win you over get your attention back on them and then leave two of wands keeps coming up this person has options um they may even have one particular option or several over here and then they want you to so they want to go back in between this could this could even be a lifestyle like somebody likes being single and free and then they like having you over here and they just want to keep you know the duality keep going back um could be that they're infatuated with you obsessed with you yeah they feel like this is not over with the death card in reverse and they want to come out of uh, this separation also. They want you to take them out of this eight of swords, out of this tower, out of isolating yourself from them. This could definitely be a Scorpio. It could be masculine energy. Doesn't like being in the friend zone or not, or being ignored or not acknowledged. Yeah. This person doesn't like the new enlighten you again. This could even be friends that maybe you had to walk away from. Again, somebody wants new start. Same cards coming out. New start, new start. Because they 
you know, they, they dissed you or they dismissed you or they rejected you. Now they want you back fantasizing about you. They could even sell you like this dream that you guys are, you're the one that they're choosing you. They may even give you an apology. Um, maybe even a small token, a gesture of, uh, their affection or how much they care for you. But, um, I don't know. They may lack consistency. This person knows that they have a lot of people to choose from. They know they need to make a choice. They may even think that you have a lot of people and they want you to choose them. They might want to even get in the way of a new person coming in for you. This is what I have for the collective. Understand that you're ready. You're ready to let go. Let this go. Okay. To ascend. And then you in, in perfect timing. Okay. You can have big happy changes. Um, but the cards want you to know it's up to you. You know, if you want to stay here in this, you can have some type of peaceful resolve with this person. Um, but you are on the tail end of recovery. This person may even just be now starting the whole ascension. I need to be a higher, um, vibrational being. I don't know. So they're at the beginning. You're at the end. Once again, don't want the same thing. Not on the same page. We got a yes answer and it what was clarifying this with the seven of swords. Yes, they're tri they're tricky, deceptive, a liar. They want to man manipulate. They want to come back. They want to show you that they want the relationship when they really don't, but they want to go it alone or when it gets too intimate, they'll run off. They like your attention. They like what you bring. So this is what I have for the collective. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.